Welcome back to X Pine CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today's Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth and hold again. Great, this time let's do it together. Breathe in and hold and then breathe out and hold again. What a refreshing way to start the morning. Let's see what happened today in history with Hadassah. Thank you, Nia. Salutations, Patriots. In today's history, on May 23, 1948, the Hall of Fame center fielder Joe DiMaggio hits three consecutive home runs as the New York Yankees edge the Indians. Joe DiMaggio was an American baseball center fielder who played his 13-year career in Major League Baseball. He led this game to victory with a score of 6-5. to five. Joe DiMaggio had a big love for kids. His passion led to lending his name to Memorial Healthcare Children's Hospital, which is now known as Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Hmm, I wonder how it feels to be named after a place that is known by so many people today while still having a title of being a great baseball player. Now, let's see what's cooking with Zarmel. Thank you, Adasa. Today's lunch is chicken and cheese quesadilla, melt salsa, Italian sandwich, corn, lettuce and tomato, pineapple tidbit, and new chase milk. So my breakfast is bagel, cream cheese, graham crackers, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, cinnamon toast crunch, and your trace in milk. Students, lunch and breakfast can change at any time into ours for your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to here. Thank you, Zamel. Students, this course, Check Some Software Challenge, will end on June 2nd. There's a lot of time to complete those lessons, so keep completing them, Patriots. Check the flyer for the requirements. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Today at 6 p.m., our Performing Arts Department will be presenting the Spring Music Concert. It is $5 cash per person, and all funds will go towards the music department. I can't wait to see you all tonight. Calling all 8th graders. 8th grade prom will be held on May 25th. I hope you all have an amazing night. Pre-sales for the yearbook are now on sale on myschoolbooks.com for $45 and are available now. Make sure to order yours. Students, remember the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the 5th and 6th graders turn to go, so don't forget your tickets. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Nia. For today's weather, you can expect 87 degrees with scattered showers. Make sure you're ready for the rain and keep an umbrella on hand. In other weather news, have you ever heard of a water cop? Even though this might not be the official name of the position, their job has a very real purpose. Las Vegas has water patrol work to manage the limit residents' water usage. They set water restrictions in an effort to help Nevada's years of ongoing drought. If you don't know, a drought is a period of time with a shortage of water like rainfall. The restrictions that are being implemented sets a limit on how big a pool could be and how much water it could be used when landscaping. What do you think, Patriots? Do you think this effort will help? Now let's go to Alexander for our birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys are Ryan Aryan and Elijah Newby. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Nia. Thanks, Alexander. Patriots, here are Pax Expectations. 
It represents percentages of positively add kindly towards others, treat the skills of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Michaels, Miss Manning, Miss Einold, Miss Stone, Miss June, Miss Campbell, and Miss Greg. You all got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was in one of the most popular Dr. Seuss books, What Will Sam I Am Eat? The correct answer was green eggs and ham. And now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Answer this riddle. What's the capital of France? Teachers, please send your answers to finds.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.